Okay. So last time we talked about the effect of stress and introduced or derived the BO coefficient. And we'll use that today. Today we're going to basically show the field equations for poroelasticity. And we're going to sort of write them in the most general form first and then show a simplification that we typically use and we will use in this class when we solve them computationally. Um, so the first thing I need to introduce is the notion of porosity. I think most of you guys uh, know basically what porosity is. So if we have some you know, representative volume of a porous material where this would represent the volume, the pores would represent the volume of the fluid sort of encased or entrapped um, in the representative volume, and this is the total volume, then the porosity, we'll use the symbol N, is basically the limiting case as the total volume shrinks to zero of this volume fraction. So we call that guy the porosity. And so in the special case, which is what we'll consider today, in the case of only two phases, meaning one liquid phase and one solid phase. So obviously this is not the most general case. The most general case would be you could have an infinite number basically of um, e each phase, of so the solid phase and of the liquid phase, meaning, and, and this, you know, the common application here would be your liquid could be a combination of oil, gas, condensate, water, and, you know, lots of other chemicals, right? But in the, in the case of the, uh, of the two phase, so basically solid plus fluid, then the total density can be written in terms of the individual densities and the porosity, like this. Um, 